Hi, I still really hate talking to a camera, but uh, I received a question, so I guess I have to follow through on what I said I would do and answer it. Let's take a look at it. I wanted to ask some questions for your Q&A video. My company is actually moving me to Tokyo in July, which I'm looking forward to mostly. Firstly, you've obviously got a diverse creative skill set, but you didn't work in the creative industries in Japan from what I can tell. Is there a reason for this? Does Japan like Western creatives or not? Secondly, is Japan a good place to be single, or is dating through cultural boundaries tiring and complicated? Uh, there's actually nothing on this. There's actually a letter from my bank, um, but I thought it'd be less awkward if I had a prop. Thank you, first of all, for thinking that I'm creative. It always means a lot when people say that. Uh, don't tell anyone, but I'm actually just faking it. And I guess if I'm going to make videos like this, I should express that uh, any opinions shared in them are purely my own based on my time there. People that you meet and yourself are going to have vastly different experiences from what I had. So having said that, and onto your question, um, there are a number of factors associated with why I wasn't working within the creative field uh, in Japan. They mostly related to stability issues in my life at the time. I won't get into it, but um, I was exposed on some level to the creative field there. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet some photographers that I really looked up to over the years last year, which was fantastic. Tokyo is obviously a city with a fuck ton of creative culture and inspiration for people to be exposed to. And the talent pool is so rich and so diverse that it, it's hard not to meet other creatives. Here's the thing that I think is a weakness in a lot of people who move, not only to Japan, but in a general sense, and something that took me a very long time to learn. Any weaknesses or deficiencies that you have in your own sense of motivation and drive aren't gonna go away just because you're in a different part of the world. You know, as creatives, we have a sense of drive and motivation, but it is completely self-propelled and you need to be working at it every single day. For me, I'm just not at that point yet, whether that's to do with my own personal hangups or that I'm just not good enough, who knows? With that out of the way, let me address the second part of your question, and that was, does Japan like Western creatives or not? Uh, they do, they absolutely do. Um, however, I think there are a few factors that are influencing the landscape uh, of that at the moment. Um, Japan design, I think, is very entrenched. There is a certain aesthetic that you'll notice, but what I mean to say in that sense is it comes from a very commercial mindset. Whereas somewhere like Melbourne, um, design, art, um, photography, it's all really cool, but it's also seen as culturally important. Um, now, the strengths and weaknesses of that are something that you can dissect yourself. But within Japan, I feel that stuff is still seen as cool, but not as culturally important. And it's what can they make from you designing something or you creating something for them. What's really telling on that, I think, is that junior graphic designers in Japan um, their base salary starts at about 20k a year, or less than 20k a year. And it's really telling on the industry that um, you have d designers that are willing to work for that amount. So I think as Western designers, we have a bit more weight on that sort of stuff that we create. Um, so that is sort of butting heads with the Japanese mindset. And that takes time. If you're interested in knowing more on that topic, there's an awesome essay written by Ian Lineman, and I'll link it in the description box below, um, that dissects the entire graphic design industry specifically in Japan, um, but it kind of relates to any sort of content creation. Cool, so there was another question that you asked uh, and that was related to uh, dating in Japan. Um, on that topic, I'm gonna answer it in another video. Bye. <laughs>